Okay, this is about take three of this video, and uh, hopefully I get it right this time. I've been having some technical difficulties. In other words, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I bought some cameras from Home Depot. You can get them at Amazon or Walmart. They're called Wise, and that's W-Y-Z-E uh, version 2, uh, Wise Cam V2. They're $25, and they're quite hackable. And they do a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, one of the cool things they do is they will send you a notification via a service called Telegram. And you can also issue commands to the camera via Telegram. Now, I have my camera set up, and not this one right at this second. I have several of these cameras, but it, there's a thing that says motion, send emails. And if the camera detects motion... It'll fire off three or four pictures. I have it set to three, I think. And then it emails it to you. But I get so many spam emails that I don't have like an audio notification. So it could be like a long time before I checked my email and saw that there were things moving around where there shouldn't have been things moving around. So I have cameras in my spare rooms and other places in the garage and things like that. And if something's moving and I'm not home, I want a notification. So we're going to set up this, this service called Telegram. And Telegram is an app. You can get it for Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, uh, other things too, I think. So anyway, I've downloaded it on my Mac here and also on my iPhone. But I'm operating on my Mac to show you how this is set up. Now we want to go into System Services. And you can see my doggy. Just jumped up on the bed with me. And you want to scroll down this list and you want to make sure that the Telegram bot is running. It's natively not running. You have to hit the start button. I've already done that. I have a PID, which means there's a process running. This is a Linux file system. And let's move on here. Uh, what you have to do in telegram though is you have to set up this camera to talk to telegram now i've ssh'd into my camera you can see up here or you can't see up here because my screen grab doesn't go that high but the address to my camera is 20.85 and right here is 20.85 so i'm in the camera in the linux file system right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cd to system SD card config and then we're going to modify that file it's called telegram.conf and I'm gonna slide it over here because when you sign up for telegram my dog is going nuts behind me when you sign up for telegram it gives you an auth token and you have to copy that auth token. I'm not going to go through setting that up. And I don't want to share my auth token. So that's why I slid my thing over here. So my API token over here. Uh, that's a portion of it. I want you to note that there are quotation marks there. And they're butted up right against the equal sign. And then you paste in your API token. Now just below it it says user chat ID. So... You, this is what drove me crazy. Another thing that drove me crazy is my firewall was blocking Telegram. And I had set all this up and was sitting around wondering why it didn't work. And then come to find out it was my PFSense uh, hardware firewall. So now what we want to do is uh, let's take a look at Telegram. And you go in and you create uh, a bot and you set up an account, you get your API token, and then you create a bot, and then you can create a group. So I created a bot named Coke Defang Bot, and then I created a group called uh, Coke Defang. So here I am in here to get the uh, user chat ID that you need. You need to add a member, and that member's name is at get bot IDs, I believe, get bot IDs, where's he at, 
let me go about this another way. Let me go into the group itself and try at, okay, uh, at get IDs bot. Uh, so we're going to add this member to the group. If you, if you send them a message, uh, nothing happens, I guess, because he's not added to the group. So we're going to add him to the group get bot IDs. Oh, for God's sakes, I've done it again. I can't figure out how to do this back. at get IDs bot so anyway you can send this person a thing it comes back that's my ID but it's not a bot so I, I need to go back and do this again so I need to add this guy as a member Okay, there we go. So we add him as a member, get IDs, bot. And then when you go back into your thing, he responds to you. And here is your chat ID. So I'm sorry that that was kind of convoluted, but you have to add the user get IDs bot to your group. And once you add him, he comes back and says, here's your chat ID. Now, notice in this chat ID, there's a minus sign. And over here, notice that you also put the minus sign in here. So to get out of VI, you hit Escape, Shift, colon. To save it, you'd hit WQ, but I've already got the file saved, so I'm going to hit Q, exclamation point. And I'm out of that file right there. Now, what I would do at this point is I would go back and restart the bot. I don't know if you have to do that, but I think I'd just go ahead and do that. So now let's go talk to our camera. I'm just going to clear this guy out because if I respond, it if I send some kind of message here, I'm pretty sure the bot's just going to come back and tell me, Oh, no, no, I'm talking right to my camera now. So I, the user, John Hagensicker, is connected to the Defang camera. So I just issued a command that says mem, and it tells me that there, how much free memory there is and how much swap memory and all that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a command and ask for a shot. And the camera is going to take a shot and send it back to me and that's me sitting on the bed with the blown out window open and then we're going to ask it to turn on and what it's going to do is it is going to start the motion detection I'm going to wave my leg around frantically on the end of the bed here and if that doesn't work, I'll get up and walk across the room here or something in just a second. That should work. Yep, there it is. It takes a second, but you can see there's my leg waving about frantically. So this is pretty cool. And when you got it set up on the phone, it will send you an actual notification, which is really cool. And I'm still moving around, so I'm probably going to get a whole series of photos. The camera doesn't have a fast CPU in it. Probably takes a little bit to crunch the, the photo and then send the thing. So very cool. Uh, you can take the cheap Defang camera, set it up to where that it will send emails or send telegram. And you can also incorporate this thing into your home automation system. Uh, I've incorporated mine with all the MQTT commands, all the things you can do. Uh, a couple of my cameras, it shows the last motion event in just a screenshot right here. Uh, over here, 
you can add all of these cameras. Uh, I use a program called Motion Eye, and these are all my camera feeds right here. Uh, some of these cameras are hacked. This is a Defang camera with the stuff up in the corner, and this is just the regular Wise uh, firmware right here. So very, very cool, very powerful little cameras.